Peebles have been a class act all season and tomorrow could see them take a giant stride towards being promoted into National 1. They've been a very focused team this season and the National 2 title is in their hands with two games to go. The penultimate one is at Kirkcaldy tomorrow. If they win both with a bonus point, then no one can catch them, but depending on results elsewhere, they could effectively wrap up the title tomorrow. Head coach is Graham Patterson. Maintaining our focus on what we try to do, not getting away, not trying to play out with what our framework is and just focusing on the game as we have done over those, since the last Newton Stewart game basically, you know, so we've gone unbeaten since that, that last meeting between these two sides and that's what we need to do is maintain that focus and how we go about our business on the, on the pitch. At the other end of the table, Berwick have three home games left to escape relegation, and the first is tomorrow against Gordonians. They have a five-point lead over Aberdeen Grammar, but Berwick certainly have the easiest run in on paper. In the Premiership tomorrow, Kelso and Selkirk are both on the road at Glasgow Hawks and Heriot's Blues, respectively. With Kelso already qualified for the playoffs, there's nothing really at stake. The same in National 1, where Gala's last game of the league season at Highland is for pride only. In other news, Chelsea Gillespie, who resides in the Borders, has been refereeing for a while now, but soon she'll reach a new high in her career, as she's been selected to officiate in two of the women's Six Nations games, something she's delighted about. Finally, it was confirmed yesterday that the Super Series has been scrapped after six turbulent years. The SRU have pulled the plug on it after the experiment failed to achieve what it set out to do. The team from the South area, Southern Knights, was one of the six, but there's no word yet on what will happen next. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.